All right, in this video, we're going to be adding lessons to our courses. And you can see here we've got all our courses set up with our featured images and our featured videos here. And what we're actually going to do, if I go into this course, this is what we're going to be using for our example. There's no actual lesson content here. So I'm going to start adding lessons to this course. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to edit the course and head on over to the course builder, which is at the bottom of the screen here where it says course outline here in WordPress. So we don't have any of our architecture or our frame or our skeleton for our course built. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new section. And I'm going to call that section introduction. And create that section. And this particular course that we're doing is called permaculture principles. So uh, it has three sections and it has uh, about 12 lessons or so, something like that. And what I've done is I've actually got a just a text document here that's got all my course content organized so that I have section titles like introduction here and I've got um, the, the uh, lesson names. I've got the primary lesson video, which is a protected video on my Vimeo Pro account. And then I've got a short um, just text description. And most of the lessons are just like this. So we're basically going to take all this of our content and we're going to put it inside of Lifter LMS. So if I go back over here, you can see now I have one section called introduction. And my first lesson is called an introduction to permaculture principles. So there's a bunch of copying and pasting that's going to go on here. So I'm going to add a new lesson. And in this case, I'm not actually going to use um, lesson descriptions, but you can. And that'll just display a short snippet of information on the, the lesson tiles, which we'll look at in a little bit. And you can see we're adding this to our only section called introduction. And now I'm going to add a, another section called the permaculture principles. And keep in mind that sections are just kind of like chapter titles. They're just kind of placeholders for content. They don't actually like hold content themselves. They're more for just organization. So now I have a bunch of lessons that I need to put into this section two here the permaculture principles, and I'm going to do that. Okay, now we've got the framework for our course built. You can see we've got a section here with one lesson in it and then our big section two, which is the main section here. If I needed to reorder these things, I could simply drag the lessons around. And there's our conclusion section with three lessons in that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit update. And now when we refresh, our course, we can now see our lessons are showing up in the sidebar and you can see the course uh, lesson tiles here. So if we were to use lesson descriptions, you, there would be words below the titles of the lessons here. I'm just not using that in this particular example. So now what I need to do is actually go over and add all the lesson content. Because if I were to go into here right now, there is currently nothing inside of this lesson. So I'm going to head on over uh, back to the, the back end here in WordPress and I'm going to basically just open up all of these lessons and add the content. So I'm just going to open these all in new tabs.
And now I'm just going to be copying and pasting in all my lesson content. So you can see uh, we have a video here with just a little bit of text below it. You can also see our course outline is over here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit update. And now I'm just gonna do a bunch of copying and pasting, and then we'll look at what that looks like on the front end of the website. So now let's take a look at the front end. We can look at our last lesson here, which doesn't have a video in it. But if I go back to courses, and I go to our course that we just added all those lessons to. You can see all the lessons are here. If I were to jump in to this first lesson, uh, now I have a video lesson. And I'm actually going to jump into the back of this course and enroll myself. I'm just enrolling myself manually is what you're seeing me do there. And you can now see when I go to that course, now that I'm actually a student in the course, if I go inside of lesson one, uh, I now have a mark complete button so I can start making forward progress in the course. So that is how you install lessons in Lifter LMS. Um, and the reason these videos aren't playing is that we've got them protected to only play on certain websites, not here in our test environment. We do have this one video unlocked. But that is just a real quick intro on how to install lesson content.